I wasn't sure I was seeing what I was seeing. He looked at me and said, my God, I have never seen anything like that in my life hunting. Never. It is a phenomenal sheep. You only hear about that or read about it. When you see a ram that's got a deep curl and he comes all the way up front, that's what you're looking for. But when he goes past that and then past the bridge of his nose and then past the back again and starts, this looks like a Marco Polo sheep up here. A stone ram. A stone sheep that looked like a Marco Polo. As we get looking in range, and they were out quite a ways, it was a long shot, 600 yards. We started talking about our options. Do we, do we try to take a shot from here? Do, are they going to get up and, and go away from us? Are they going to come toward us? Are they going to go up, down? What, what, what are they going to do? We started looking, trying to find a way to close ground. We couldn't close ground. and There's really nowhere for them to graze. The rocks, everything on their backsides and everything. The only place there was to, a little bit of green was, was pretty much between us and them. And, uh, we decided, Peter and myself and Colorado, and we decided to uh, just wait them out. Wait them out. We're, we're pretty sure if it's going to get anything, it's going to get better. They don't know we're there. There's a lot of guides have been in this situation, a lot of hunters. You're laying there and you just want to take a ram that's like this, and, and to lay and be, be patient is so hard. But we decided to uh, just wait them out. 